Hey guys, uh, I'm Todd Van Langen, Long Range Ambassador for Beretta USA, representing Saco and Tika. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about paying attention to detail. For those folks that know me, they know that's been one of the biggest challenges in my entire life, is uh, having ADD as a child and as an adult, and uh, furthermore, having brain injuries on top of it from, uh, from downrange. It can make for a challenging thing when you're shooting precision rifle. Everything you do in the precision rifle uh, realm requires attention to detail, hand loading, dope gathering, trigger pulling, target acquisition, everything everything you do requires attention to detail. And uh, some of the finer points sometimes get glossed over. And in the heat of things, competition, taking down an animal or in a tactical situation, sometimes we, we, we tend to forget things and uh, little errors at the gun can be huge catastrophic errors at the target. Uh, quick story, uh, the hostage rescue unit that I was in, uh, uh, part of our template was uh, snipers would infiltrate prior to uh, you know the mission going down and do recon. And we would be ready to, if bad guys were at the target moving around doing their thing or whatever, when the assault force came in, it was our job to eliminate the, the, the sentries before the assault force could get into the building. And sometimes that, that, that could come all the way down to taking a shot right over top of the assault force's head. So if you're at, you know, 500, 500 yards, 600 yards away uh, and you forget one, maybe to adjust your parallax or two, you dial the wrong dope or you hold the wrong dope. Because keep in mind, you've been up for probably 72 hours at this point and you're droning out pretty hard. Everything matters. If you're off by two mils, you, you might shoot one of your buddies or, you know, you're going to miss that deer or whatever the target is that you're, that, you're, uh, that you're going after. That attention to detail is so critical. Everything from, uh, from making sure everything's torqued to spec, making sure all your ammo is loaded properly, man, making sure that your dope is, you're, you're taking all your atmospherics in and going over stuff. And, and for me, I, ha I have a mental checklist that I have to go through. And sometimes I even write it down. Go, I go from figure out what my dope is, and then I completely erase on my phone, and I go back through and I get my dope again to make sure I typed it in right. Instead of 500 yards, I, I don't know how many times I've been in a match, and I've been in meters, being a military guy, and oh, 500 meters, that's way, that's way different than 500 yards. And uh, it could mean a mess a lot of times, and I've done that several times. So I have the checklist, and I go back and I redo everything once or twice to make sure that I'm doing it properly. And you'd be surprised how many times you catch yourself slipping. Uh, I find with students and, and entry level or you know a newer a newer shooters the parallax knob is a, is a killer for guys. Uh, the farther out you get, the more your parallax is, is just imperative. You know if you're shooting at an 800 yard target, a 12 inch circle at 800 yards, and you have your parallax is still sitting on 50, there's a pretty solid chance you're not going to hit that thing. And matter of fact, if you hit it, you're probably lucky. And also with that said, if, if you're a, if you're a guy that holds on your reticle rather than dialing, on an MRAD reticle. If you count, if your dope's three mils and you hold two mils, you know you're not going to hit that target. I don't care what distance you're at. That's a that, that's a big deal. So paying attention to detail is a very critical component of precision rifle shooting. For example, uh, spring of 2020, I was shooting an extreme long range match out west um, in some of the most windiest terrain I've ever seen in my life, and uh, came upon a target. I just got done shooting a stage where the targets were 700 to about 1200. This stage they were 1800 to 2100, and uh, Parallax at that point is just sent it at infinity, of course. I don't know of any scopes that go up that high, but uh, what I did was my little dope card holder that I have on the side of my gun here, I had failed to put my new dope in there. So I started dialing dope and I was hitting 50 feet below, literally 50 to 100 feet short of the target. I couldn't figure out why, and that's because I didn't pay it. I was so wrapped up in being 60 mile an hour crosswinds that I had forgotten, and now my elevation was ruined. My windage was awesome. Wind calls were great. I was just... <laughs> I was way short, so it didn't work out very well. But uh, yeah, attention to detail is the key to, key to success. I'm Todd Van Lang, and uh, Long Range Ambassador for Beretta USA, representing Saco and Tika. And always remember, there's no such thing as advanced shooting. There's only the basics mastered.